and let's get started. So I'll do single player game, and then I'm going to choose to have a clean slate so I get to select what kind of ships I have. And we'll be America, and let's get started. Save slot here. So it may not uh, be the best looking game or have killer graphics or anything like that or cutscenes, but pretty decent. I played it for about an hour or so and uh, got familiar with it. And then I'll just give you guys a quick rundown on how to do it and then watch me play through once. Time to decide the outcome. Okay. <clears throat> so if we click this gear, it's going to tell us how to play. But basically, every turn, um, the goal of the game is to take over every single one of these spaces. Some of the spaces have different numbers. That tells us how many prestige points they're worth. And our prestige points are here in the top left-hand corner. And these dictate how many ships we could build per turn. You can only build a ship in a space with an anchor so these are the two that we could build a ship and these are the two that we could build a ship these are also the only two spaces where a ship could repair its hull other than the hull guns turrets a few other things could be damaged those don't matter those could be fixed anywhere out in the field but if you need to fix the hull you have to take a ship back here you don't have to do anything just leave it there at the end of the turn and at the start of the next turn the ship is healed so uh, what I like to do is I'm going to build ships here. If you left click on one of these, uh, it'll let you tell you what you can do. If you want to recon a space, you could also recon a space. Right now we have zero recon points. These are uh, randomly produced each turn. But it's basically going to tell us when there is a ship in the area, how many ships are there, or what the ships are anyway. So let's go ahead and click build. I want to start out by building high quality ships. So I'm going to build... A battleship so i'm going to press add fleet cost me 500. i could edit this and put in some different guns and aircraft gun or torpedo the torpedo only work up to 2,000 meters which is not very far in this game the battleship needs its range so i'm, gonna, I'm not gonna i don't edit any of the weapons on any of the ships so i'm gonna do a battleship now we have 500 left i'm gonna build another ship and i'm gonna build an aircraft carrier the aircraft carrier automatically comes with everything all the planes on it Press done. All right, and that's everything I have for this turn. Um, basically, also, when I'm building ships, I never waste my time with a frigate. I'd rather wait till next turn to have a destroyer. Uh, when you look at the ships, it'll tell you the HP. It'll also tell you the speed. The destroyer moves 1,000 meters on each turn compared to 900. Has some more turrets, and the destroyer just has some pretty killer weapons. Uh, a lot more weapons than the uh, than the uh, frigate does. Submarine, I don't waste my time on because their torpedoes only go 1,500 meters, whereas the torpedoes on the destroyer go 2,000 meters. Cruiser's pretty killer because that thing, um, it's basically like a mini battleship. It's got some medium guns, which can, uh, I'll explain that, why that is, when why it's important when we get in the battle. But basically, uh, I'll build these two things, and when I have money and when I have good control later in the game, I'd like to build more battleships and aircraft carriers. All right, so there we are. So when I left click here, I could see I have two ships here. I'll be able to see if the enemy has two ships. I'll be able to see uh, if the enemy has defense as a certain sort. Like here, the enemy has uh, aerial defense, meaning they have an airfield, okay? Some of the areas, the enemy may also have turrets. Like here, we have turrets, which is artillery. But can't do anything now, so let's go to the next turn. My turn's done, their turn's done. They built three ships, they built five ships. They must have had a lot of money at the start. I could build two. So I'm gonna start moving my ships out into the ocean. If I invade an area that doesn't have any enemy in it, then I just automatically take it over. So first I think I may go for Wake Island. Let's press move. I'm gonna choose to move all of my ships right here actually. And then I'm gonna select all and press move. And that's my turn, which is very exciting. I'm going to wait till I have 300 for my next turn to build a cruiser. Actually, you know what? I'm going to build the destroyer now. 
When you build a ship, it isn't available till next turn, as you can see. Unavailable. Unavailable now that they moved. Get her done. All right, so they moved three ships here. Let's, uh, two ships there. So if I move into Wake Island, which they're obviously trying to protect. Oh yeah, they can only attack from one space at a time. So they can't attack, well, simultaneously anyway. They can't put five ships on me at once. They can only put three. And then if they lose that battle, then they could put two more in. Let's go ahead and see what they have here. Let's recon. Looks like they have a sub, a frigate, a destroyer. See what they have here. We're getting a battleship. So they're pretty pretty strong. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to consolidate my forces. So I'm going to move this guy... Here. And then I'm going to move... These guys here as well. That way, um, now we have three ships, which may be able to stand up to the five, probably not, but at least I have an aerial defense, and uh, they're not going to move it on midway. If they try to move around me, at least I'm going to be able to move all these guys here to protect the homeland, then come back with a pretty large fleet force, considering uh, I'm going to be able to build a cruiser here in a minute. End the turn. All right, see, so they consolidated. They have five here, I have three here. Go ahead and build this cruiser. Head to the fleet. Done. The dishes are done, man. I have here 100. I'm going to build a frigate too, which I've never done, but we're going to need the money, so see what happens. All right, so they whisked out on us. And uh, what are they doing? Hmm. Well, let's get into it. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Select all. Let's attack these fools. You also get prestige points by killing enemy ships and winning battles. Okay, come on. Oh, uh, big misser. What a waste, dude. You suck. All right, that's a little unfortunate. Okay, the baddest ship, uh, the battleship is the biggest, baddest ship in the game. So we want to take care of that. If you want to know how to do these ship battles, click on the gear. It'll tell you how to play. Okay. Um, all right. So each of these grid squares is a kilometer. So if you're ever in the military, you should be aware of this. So basically, uh, when you look at a ship's stats, it'll tell you how far it can move per turn. A thousand, for example. So this could move one of those square clicks. So what you want to do is every single turn, I like to move my ships first. So let's say I have this destroyer. Where's their battleship? It's way over there. These frigates are small. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move my destroyer. So when I press move, I'm going to select my angle or my azimuth. So I'm going to go ahead and move him up over here. And he has weapons on his left and right side. And we'll see what some of the radiuses are. So I'd like to kind of have the middle of my ship pointing here, the center, stern. And then I could have some guns firing that way and that way if I need to. You could select your distance. Like I want to move the full thousand meters so I could get as close as I can to the enemy. 
because I have torpedoes on this ship. So I'm going to move the full distance, which you pretty much end up doing all the time anyways. Now you're going to press attack. Now I have two shots of this, two shots of this, one of this, two of this, two, two, each turn. So if I select this, this circle here is telling me that I have, this is my 2000 meter radius, which is important because when I click the slider, if I select, if I put this at 2000, I know that any, if I shoot in this direction, any of these directions, it should land right here. So I'm going to want to pick something that I see as being a little further, more further out than 2000. I'm going to go after the destroyer here because destroyers could be potentially dangerous. You could zoom in with your mouse wheel, which I like to do. So I'll go ahead and I'll move this to try to get us at center ship. And I'll kind of look at this and say, okay, uh, these I think are supposed to be perfect squares. So the diameter is double of one side. So the diameter might be 2000 meters. So I might say to myself, this might be 2000 plus another 3000. Let's see what happens. I'm actually going to put it at 20, 2840. Let's fire a shot. See if my range is correct. Oh, came up a little shallow. So I need to select this weapon again, which is still on the azimuth that I want to be. Let's go up to a little bit over. Let's give it another, let's go 950. 953 will do. Let's fire. Let's walk the artillery out a little further. So I was right with my first guess. That's probably 3,000. Now I'm on a gun that's a little further back now. So I don't even know if I'm going to have the range at this point to hit that bad boy. Boom. Got him. Only 11 damage. That, that means it's not the best hit in the world. I'm not doing a direct hit. Fire. Nice. So when I'm in the, when I first buy a ship, I have the option to adjust some of these. So this is a torpedo, for example, and I can see the torpedo can only go 2000 meters and it can only fire on my flanks within this radius here. So all these things are something I want to consider when I'm choosing to customize a ship, which I don't, because I think they come pretty well fit. Okay. So right now, and also when I'm placing my ship, so I don't mind having my flank or being right here with these guys on my left flank and these guys on my right flank because I have enough weapons on my flanks to defend myself if my hull could withstand it. So this ship basically right now has done as much as he can. So I'm going to press end turn. I'm going to go to my next ship, my battleship. So I'm going to move this guy forward as much as he can go. I'm just going to go straight ahead. Now I'm going to press attack and I'm going to use these side, these standard turrets to feel my way out and then I'll use my big guns What's going on here use my big guns to really fire for effect once I know my range okay so I'm guessing it's 2200 out because that line is 2000 let's go 2244 let's see what happens ah just short all right, let's go 20, 2365. Let's go a little more, 150 meters deeper. All right, barely hit him. I'm going to go with my big guns up front now. I'm going to fire a little bit further because they're up front. But I'm going to go at the same distance, just adjust the direction. Fire. Nice. Now those are heavy turrets. They're going to do the most damage, and they only fought, they need one full turn to reload. Whereas medium turrets reload every turn, so you don't want to waste the heavy turret shot. So I already knew my range, so that's why I took it, and I'll do it again here. Hopefully, I'll damage some of his turrets. Nice. Didn't look like I damaged any of his turrets. That's okay. All right. Now I'm back on a side turret here. We're a little further back. I'm going to put us up maybe 50 meters. Let's go up to 2400. I'm down just a tad. Fire. That's right in the front of the ship. Let's give us a little bit more distance because these turrets are in the back of the ship. Let's see if we could damage one of his turrets. Hey, not yet. Okay. 
Another shot here. Go up by about 75 meters. See what this gets us a little deeper onto the ship. Not by much, geez. There we go, a little bit deeper. I wanna to try to hit the bridge or the turrets. Man, I guess it's kind of tall. All right. Try to do the same thing now over here to this destroyer. Oh, thanks, Del. The wife brought me a cupcake. All right, so I'm thinking that might be da, 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 for 2871s around there. I don't think it's a full 3000. Nice. Fire again. If it's your first shot and you press this button instead of this one, you'll fire both your shots at once for a very effective shot on the enemy. More effective than just firing individually. So I'm going to try that on this next weapon here. I'm going to move my azimuth out. I'm going to go back up distance since this weapon's further back in the ship. And then I'm going to select this, and it's going to fire both my shots at once. And it'll be more devastating when it hits the enemy. Nice. All right. Oh, I guess not. Hmm. I don't understand what happened there. It's letting me do that every time for some reason. Oh, never mind. Okay. All right. Let's see. And that's all I can do for now with this ship. So we're going to end turn. Aye, sir. And this is my carrier. So with your carrier, you have planes and it takes two turns for them to return and they have a risk of getting shot down. So if your enemy has double A guns and aircraft guns, they may shoot them down. But if they don't, they won't get shot down on their mission. If there's an airfield and you're attacking an enemy area that has an airfield, you might want to press defend. Or if there's air enemy carriers, you may want to press defend. We don't have to worry about that right now. Recon would apply if uh, there are mountains in the way and this is all black and I want to see where the enemy ships are. I'm not worried about any of that though. So I want to go ahead and attack. I'm going to go right for the battleship because this guy could do a heck of a lot of damage. Let's try to hurt these front turrets here. I'm going to choose my angle of attack. Be coming from here going this way. I think that's going to give me the best shot at hitting my target. Nice. Oh, he has a torpedo launcher on there. What an idiot. So now I'm going to go ahead and press cancel because I'm going to move my ship, my carrier here, forward 600 meters. This is max movement. Now I'm going to attack again. I'm going to see if I can get these turrets. Fire in on this frigate here. See what we got. Okay, what do we think? One of these blocks is a thousand. It looks like we might be a full thousand away. Means I'm going to need 3,000 meters. Hit it up. Ooh, barely made it there. Try again. Let's move one degree to the left. Barely hitting them. It's better than nothing. Let's see if this next turret can reach. I don't think it will, though. Barely. All right, we'll uh, fire that second shot in there. Ooh, ah, seven damage. Better than nothing. All right, that's all he can do this turn. End our turn. Let's see what these guys are going to do. That destroyer is kind of dangerous. Those torpedoes do a boatload of damage to a ship. Come on, you losers. Huh, it's weird, I guess. They couldn't move the battleship, which is a good thing. And the front turrets can fire. Ew. All right. There goes a torpedo launcher. And something. 
Oh, never mind. I couldn't move the battleship. That was a sub. All right. Looks like they have a medium gun on the front. Fortunately, they didn't damage our turret or anything. Oh. I didn't realize frigates had forward firing torpedoes and never build them. All right. So let's see here. Um, let's click the attack button to see what we have that's hurt. All right, so here we're good. We could still fire a full 2,000 meters. This front turret is damaged. Um, so let's move this guy. And if we recall, we have these torpedoes on the side. So I'm going to try to turn my ship, and they move 2,000 meters. So if I keep this guy within the 2,000 meter arc, then I'm going to be able to fire a torpedo on him. So that's the forward of my ship. Let's... Try to move this way. Turn my flank towards him. Oh, geez, I forgot to mention it. Okay, so there's these little uh, gold triangles throughout the board. If you get close to one, you're going to get a special ability. This one here lets me launch an airstrike, which I'm going to choose to do now on the battleship, as you may have guessed. Let's try to damage this front turret. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, just haul damage. I didn't break anything, unfortunately. All right, here we go. Let's attack with this guy. All right, let's see. I want to see how far... I'm going to use this to find my range. I'm guessing I'm 1,500 out. 1,529, let's see. A little bit shorter. i try that one more time. Let's say I'm 1,380. I need to know this for my torpedo. Okay. So now I'm going to fire my torpedoes. All right. I'm going to put my torpedoes at... That'll do. Fire them up. Nice. Let's see if we could sink this guy. Now he's a little bit closer. This is the back of the ship. The stern there. So we're going to take uh, maybe 10 off, 10 meters off. Nice. Sunk. Victoire. Now let's try another one here. That guy. Might be a full 3,000 out there. I don't think so. 3,700, I think. Ah! Increase that a little bit so we could get there. Come on, man! The heck? We need maybe 20 more meters. Barely five. That's nothing. Um, these depth charges are great for subs. Uh, they go out to 1,000 meters, which might be around here, but there are no subs. So end of turn for this guy. Uh, What are you, dude? What do I have here? Okay. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's move him. Full bore ahead. Let's uh, attack with my guns here. I'm going to try to kill that destroyer in the same turn. Let's see if we could do it. What are we at? That's a thousand. Yeah, 1356. Let's see. Yes, sir. That he is. That he is. Nice. I'm going to see if I could sink him with all these uh, standard turrets. 
put 10 meters on this. Uh, that way I could use my heavy guns on the destroyer next to me. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done. This sucks. Eh. Not turning out too well. Let's put another 10 meters on it. 76. No, nah, we're going to have to use our heavy, heavy turret, unfortunately. Oh, no, it's reloading. Shite. Uh, see, this is just disappointment. All right, so we're kind of in danger here because this thing. About the same distance out. Let's see what we got. They had to take away a few degrees. Boom. I'm going to add just a few. I don't want to fall short. Nice. Nice. Add a few degrees here. Add a couple, a little bit of distance. All right. Add a little more distance. Get a little bit deeper into the ship. All right, just hand your turret destroyed. A little bit further back in the ship. Add about 10 more meters on here, see where it gets us. Boom! Not quite far enough. Let's add... And this has to be a good hit. Let's get up to 11. Better get us there. Come on, sink this guy. Yes, thank you. All right. And the turn, that's all we could do with him. The USS Enterprise. So let's attack with some planes. Come on over here. Drag the left mouse wheel and scroll us over. See if we could sink this bad boy. Nice. All right, so what else do I have in the field here? This guy, we're going to have to turn, move him. Oh, what's going on here? Move him. 600? Yeah. Slow poke. Aircraft carrier is great because their weapons have a wide radius of fire. Or rotation, I guess you would say. Field of fire, they... 25, 27, I think we're at, maybe. Let's give it a shot. Ah, a little bit, a little bit deep. I think we are at 25. Bring it down. See what we got. Oh, come on. All right. Maybe now I got to go up to 26 because we're further back in the ship. Uh, Bambino. Fire. Boom. Very nice. Perfect. Get another one in there. That's that's it for him. Oh, they have a sub. I forgot about this. Holy crap. Okay, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what that card gets him. Not sure what. Ooh, that sounded worse than it was, I think. Uh-oh, it just uh, doesn't quite sound good. So, crap, there's a sub out here. Let's get our destroyer moving towards it. Uh, 
God, where is this guy? Problem, let's fire a depth charge out this way. Take a shot at hitting him. I didn't get a good chance to see where he was. Nothing. I think he's a bit further out than 3,000 meters. Oh, yeah. Big whiffer. All right, that's it for this guy. Carrier, so... Didn't I have a cruiser here? I guess not. Um, all right, we're gonna do an airstrike. I could do a recon to try to uncover where that sub is. I just wanna kill this frigate so it doesn't cause us any more problems. Because once the destroyer sees the sub, um, it's gonna kick its butt, so. All right, let's move us forward. Although this frigate has torpedoes that, ah, well, too late. All right, let's see where we're at now. He's running away though, so I don't want to risk him getting away from us. Um, what's that, 2200? 2267, sounds good. Let's give it a shot. Oh, a little bit farther. Let's put 20 meters on it. Go. Boom. Fire for effect. We're going to put 15 meters on this one. Let's go right on up to 2300 on the dot. I'm going to get confident here. Hmm. All right. I guess it wouldn't let me do that because I don't know why. That's all we could do with him. There's, okay, so that sub has three levels. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, that's no good. Ooh, big time haul damage. All right. You're a loser, dude. Ooh. Okay, so when you have a sub or when you're looking at a sub, they have they can only they have three depths. One is sub surfaced, which is what he is right now. The other is per periscope depth, which is kind of medium range depth, where most ships could still detect them. Then the other is a uh, deep dive, and if he's if he's in a deep dive, he can't fire a torpedo. Each turn, he can only change one depth range. So right now, the next turn, he can only go to periscope depth. Uh, if he's not already at periscope depth, I can't quite tell which one this is, but he could only shoot from the top two depths. Anyway, let's see where we're at. All right, so the destroyer has a 2,000 meter torpedo range. See, let's try to get him in better range of this of this sub. I don't think we did it. Nah. All right, let's see. Oh no. Damn it, we're right outside the range. Okay, this won't do anything. Torpedoes, we're not quite where we need to be. This is pretty awful. All right, let's go right up to 2,000. He's a little past 2,000 meters, but let's see what we get. 2,014 meters and... Better than nothing. Hit him up again. God, we're in an awful spot. Nothing, all right. Can't do anything with him now. And our battleship has what? All right, let's try to find our range. Was he 700 meters out? 750. 
Let's see where he's at. I'm going to take us forward. 765. We're going to fire for effect here. Everything we got. Damn, he's still alive. Unreal. Fire. Fire. Oh, come on. What was that? Weak. All right. All right, let's see. I want to uh, use another airstrike. Try to get this sub so it doesn't do any more damage to us, actually. That guy's bad news. Nice. Down he goes. I, I come in from the side because when I've come in straight, following the length of the ship, um, something tends to happen and every now and then I miss. And I've noticed when I come in at the side angle of a ship along its flank that I don't miss. So that there would be why I come in at the flank. All right, what are you at? 1900? Whoa. <laughs> Give us a shot, 1903, see where we're at. Nice, and we win. Okay, so um, we notice that we gained 110 prestige for killing those ships. We have some hull damage here. Uh, I'm gonna wanna take these guys back to a harbor where we have an anchor, and just by leaving them there at the end of a turn, uh, they will automatically be healed up. If we didn't have hull damage, but we did have some deck guns or something like that were damaged, they'd be automatically fixed. Not the case, unfortunately.